It's Friday. Hello, everybody. Yes, it's a beautiful Friday. The Hot Mess Express Amy coming to you live from the quilt store. I know. It's nothing like coming to a Friday Night Live where Amy's not checking her, checking her hair and everything else while uh, she's chatting with you. Hello, Miss Linda. Hello, Miss Veronica. Welcome. Hi, Miss Kim. How was everybody's week? Hi, Michelle. Miss Lori. Yes, it's been a week. Does anybody have special plans this weekend? We have um, Valentine's is coming up. Anybody going anywhere, doing anything? Hello, Miss Ann. Hi, Miss Kathy. How's the weather up in your neck of the woods? Hi, Miss Kathy V and Kathy M. <laughs> Miss Kenda, hello. Miss Kenda, I'll have your seats taken care of for you. Hi, Miss Sandy. Miss Vanita, thank you for your email. Thank you for helping. I really appreciate it. Hi, everybody. Well, I've got my list. Now, I work really well under wire. We literally just finished adding a few new things to the store here this morning or this evening, this afternoon. I, see, I don't, I don't even have an idea uh, what time of the day it is. I know it's five because Miss Ann's phone went off to remind me <laughs> that I needed to get myself together. Hi, Miss Karen. Hello, Miss Patty. Yes, a lot of you are going to be spending your weekend probably prepping for next weekend's The Winter Chill Retreat here with us. Hi, Miss Felice. Hello, Miss Deanne. Hi, Miss Debbie. Oh, good. Miss Ann's working on her trade, her trade squares for our game night at uh, the retreat. Got a cute pattern. We got a little table runner done. We also have a wall hanging version to make as well. Hi, Miss Kathleen, Miss Ruth. Welcome. Well, thank you everybody for taking time out of, like I said, this beautiful day um, to join me to chat about this. Got a got quite a bit of list here um, today. Hi, Miss Shelley, Miss Carol. Yeah, Miss Miss Susan says too much to prep for next week. I know I have a lot too, and I'm not even sewing, so therefore I I have a miniature store to pack up and the regular store to pack up to bring out to the retreat. So it will be fine. We'll get there. Like I said, I work best under pressure. So we are in the embroidery room where we usually start our normal Friday night chats. So I thought I would talk about a few embroidery things that are here and specifically we're going to start with Kimberbell because you know you can't talk embroidery without talking about our favorite girl. So we have a few things. We have the Hoppy Easter Bench Pillow Kit is back available up online. As well, and hint, hint, there may be a class coming um, in an upcoming gazette. So if you are interested in that and you want a kit, it is identical to the way that it is uh, done on the cover and identical to the one that's done here in the store. So that is going to be up and coming. So that is available again. We do have a few things uh, Kimberbell design exclusives that are done from the to the dealers um, is a 12 month long basically design collection that are only exclusive in that event. I do want to point out, not point out, I do want to just say that you can join any time of the year. You can buy just the design for that month or you can basically prepay for all of the yearly designs. I wanted to show you, this was January's design. Okay, I didn't put it in, I have one in the hoop. And then I took a second one that we made and I actually put it in top of a uh, mason jar. So isn't he just so cute? So this was January's design. And then February's design was using the quilting designs that Kimberbell has in this uh, velveteen pouch. So we have some kits available for this uh, velveteen pouch still available. So if you are in the membership crew and need a uh, kit, we do have some available for you. But yeah, you quilt both sides and then you assemble the kit. So remember, 
in the Kimberbell zipper pouches. They're not, the zipper is in, ooh, the glare. The zipper is in, but it's not completely sewn together. And the design comes in two sizes. We have kits available for the larger one. This one is the small one, okay? And it's quilted with pineapples, but you could easily quilt it with almost any of the uh, six by 10 designs. The video, I do a um, live YouTube every month uh, walking through that project. And um, she, I, not she, me, she, um, I talk to you about what you would need to do if you wanted to use a different um, design. I didn't glue him. Miss Carol asked if I glued him to the lid. I just trimmed him to size right this second and folded it under. I wanted to make sure it would work. But now that he is done, I will probably put some fusible that I know that he works. I'll put some fusible on the back of this, fuse it to the top of that lid, and then, it, then I can trim it even and not have the raw edges on the inside. But before I did all that, I wanted to make sure it was gonna go on the lid um, of my jar. But yes, I will. So, speaking of that, we do have something new that will be, that just launched in pre-order here in the store literally like seven minutes ago. Um, the new Kimberbell bench pillow, two scoops, okay? So this little bench pillow down here is all ice cream themed. Um, the kit, the complete kit is now available for pre-order. Um, in the kit is the fabric to make the complete pillow and the embellishments and the embroidery design collection. What's even cuter, okay, is that, you know, Kimberbell has the twinkle lights. This little guy right here has a little sound pack in it. So when you push, when you push it, the ice cream truck plays music. I love it. So yes, so that's the two scoops. Here. The beautiful sunshine is getting in our way today in the embroidery room. So there is the two scoops bench pillow um, kit that is up online. It should be, if you just type in two scoops or miss, um, Gina will get a link here for us and you will be able to do your pre-order. Now, one second, let me go grab something I forgot. I talked about this and in this class we talked about variegated thread and that it was quilted and variegated and I had brought in um, some variegated thread that uh, from a wonder fill. It worked really well. Very pleased with it. But I also brought back into the store, it hasn't been here in a while, but Isocord Variegated is back. So all the Isocord Variegated colors are back in the store, available. We've got blues, this is Christmas, there's some green. This one would be really pretty on the pineapple. Okay, it's golds and browns, really pretty pink. There's a pretty all brown, that one would work too for the pineapple. There's an orange. Um, and then there's a like a baby pastel color. Um, this is called Rock Zen Rock Garden. Another shade of green. We've got black and white. Here is, this one is um, shades called Bark. It's shades of brown and orange. Another pink. We've got Carnival, Neons, Primaries, and good old fashioned red, white, and blue. So Isocord Variegated is back here at Material Girls. Right this second, it's just living in those boxes because I've got to make room for a few more shelves over here to uh, house all that isocord. So yes, isocord is back for you guys. I'm going to now step out of the sunshine coming through these windows. And we are gonna walk over because we will look at some books that came in this week. Uh, two books, all based on pre-cuts, have arrived. First up is Jelly Roll Jam, okay? 
simple quilts made with two and a half inch strips from me and my sister designs really really cute i'm really really a fan of um chain link that's there there you can see a better picture and then the other one that was in here that i really fell in love with i really like this one kind of a snowflake kind of effect okay then we got in the next edition of moto bake shop and so Mo, the newest book to Moto Bake Shop is Did Someone Say Cake? And this, this book has um, 12 quilts that all use layer cakes um, for you. And I'll show you one of my favorites. I'm a sucker for chain. Love chain quilts. Di Double Irish chain is by far my favorite. This cute little quilt right here so cute would be really adorable in um cottage blue i think i have some layer cakes in cottage blue or even the carolina lilies would be really pretty as well and then if you got the layer cake with just a two color layer cake so you could get a layer cake of just the blues and a layer cake of just like a grungy solid or one of the white on whites um, you would be able to make that one so this has 12 quilts um, all using layer cakes. So it's the perfect book if you have uh, a stack of layer cakes laying around that you're um, dying to use. Now, we have, oh, speaking of books, books, not just books that you can read, but we got in a new set of books for little people. So let me go back here and get those books for you to see because I have them laying back here. We haven't got them assembled quite yet. One second. Here we go. So, soft books. Oh, lighting is not helping me today. <laughs> soft books are, and then you get to, here we go. You don't have to look at my dirty office. Um, perfect for little people, children. They love, they chew on them, suck up the drool all that um, from everything. And we have a couple here. Maybe if I turn the camera around, then you don't have to read all the, um... hi, Miss Pam. You won't have to read them backwards. So this book is all about if wishes were, if kisses were raindrops. Yes, I can read. Maybe I need to read these books. There's a mouse in the house. If you were, you are a gift to me. You're my little sweet pea. And the last one is called Lots of Love, little one. Okay. Yes. They are perfect. Miss Carol said mylar in them. If you put mylar or crinkle, that type of stuff, you can um, put them in the middle. They make noise. Okay. Perfect project for scraps of batting and things like that. And see, each one of these books has another little dimensional piece that hangs off, that's sewn into the um, top of the tat, top of the book. So it usually completes part of the picture um, of the book. So that is five new soft books. We still have a couple copies of Wheels on the Bus, and I think there's one about a skunk, and there's one about another bear. But if you just search online soft books. They uh, should pop up, or Gina will pop a link in here for us in a bit. Hi, Miss Laurie. How's your weather in Illinois? Hopefully, it's you're getting a somewhat of a spring day like we are here. Okay, we got in a um, couple of solid flannels, solid colors, um, baby-ish. So we got a solid baby pink. We have a an off-white there is a black a sorry gray and a white and i think that hi miss lisa are you back home or are you still in oklahoma and so all that so these are perfect little compliments so like this little soft pink would look really cute with this little guy these little animals those dog prints with the um gray as well 
Oh, I'm glad the sun is, at least the snow is melting for you, Miss Lori and Miss Lisa. I'm glad you made it home. Yes. So, all right, let me get, let me get a pin. Cross, cross some things off so that I can um, not forget anything for you today. While I'm doing that, don't forget local quilt shop contests. Don't forget to vote. Okay, if you haven't voted for us already, we would appreciate your vote over at the LQS contest. We are 15th place with 17 days to vote. I know, my, the list is a little messy when I hand it over and say, here, add to it whatever I don't remember um, as well. Let's see, got that, got that, got that, did that. We got in a couple of new 108 inch wide. Uh, fabrics that came in this week. We have, we're very neutral here. Um, dry brush in a gray. There's dry brush in a charcoal um, color. And then we'll walk over here to the other 108s. There is a dry brush in a royal blue. So really pretty, uh, gorgeous pieces as well and then we got in a couple of, a little bit of fabric this week not good job miss susan not a lot of fabric but it's coming i just feel it it's coming because summer spring and summer fabric is on its way we got in the first little bit of beach fabric that is um, heading our direction. It's from Dear Stella and it's called Son of a Beach. And let me show you. So we have this cute little piece with everybody laying out on their beach towels. We have, you know, who doesn't want a pretty, dr a pretty drink in your hand when you are laying by the beach? We've got some sunglasses. Look at those little flamingo sunglasses. And you can see scale wise, it is small. Uh, Miss Danette, one thatched arrived. We're still waiting on one more. Flip-flops, Birkenstocks, <laughs> and then we have beach umbrellas. Okay. Yes, we are. Um, so that's son of a beach that arrived. We also received in a collection called Messmaker that arrived from Michael Miller. This is um, for my art teachers out there or artists that are out there. That, um, here, so here's Messmaker. So we've got paint brushes. We have paint tubes. We have a, ooh make all sorts of things so those four pieces are part of messmaker okay now a couple of things let's go oh that would make you're right miss gina that would make a cute apron on learning to use our um, overlockers or our sergers being more comfortable using them we put zippers in with them this week. We made aprons, 100% made on the overlocker. We all survived and there were no tears. So we call that a success. And we'd probably make more. <laughs> so that was good. We received in the folded corner clipper. So for anybody who is in my bench, my table topper of the month program, that has started. That is the ruler that I um, feature in that video for you. Or, and if anybody wants to watch, it's up on YouTube. Um, if you look at the Riley Blake Table Topper of the Month, the Spring Bunnies, um, you will. It's a method of how to use, how to do fold back corners by pre-cutting the triangle off, and that thing. So, the folded corner ruler is here, a oh, folded corner clipper is here. We, let's go, let's go open a box because we haven't opened a box in a while and 
I know there were some boxes that arrived. Okay, let's see. Boy, I'm not doing a good job at being a camera. So there is, oh. Yep, there is a Buy Annie's box back here. So hopefully that means that we have a Buy Annie's restock. Oh, maybe, if I can get into it. I did a good job of taping it shut. So let's let's take a look. Lots of mesh. All, all colors of mesh are back here in the store. We have stilettos. We have 30-inch zippers. <gasps> Patterns. 40-inch zippers. By the yard zippers are all coming. Let's look at patterns. Oh, there's so many patterns in here. Um, double zip gear is coming back. More tools of the trade patterns. Uh, we have quick zip in the mix. Undercover flipping out. Catch all caddy in control. Take a stand, Miss Deanne. Your take a stand is here now. And running with scissors. We also have in oh, here hardware. So we've got triangle rings, rectangle rings, swivel hooks. Hopefully we'll see there's more somewhere. And then Annie's vinyl is here as well. So big, giant pattern, zipper, notion um, restock from Annie's. For my retreaters, most some of this is coming to the retreat. And remember, if you are coming to the retreat... Um, to place your order by Tuesday in order for us to be able to bring it with us. And then, look, we got two giant boxes that are going to the retreat full of stuff. But, oh, let me get up off the floor here. In this box... Yeah, they don't, she doesn't do rainbow hardware. Annie doesn't do rainbow hardware. The only company, yes, if it does stay out of stock, just hold off. I haven't even put this box in the system. Thank you, Gina. Um, I literally just opened it because I wasn't 100% sure what was in it. So it will be up online shortly for you. Um, Bernina uh, Bobbin boxes are here. Yeah, we all want rainbow hardware. The only, I think it's Emmeline Bags is the only one that does rainbow hardware. But they don't always match the Annie's size or style, I believe. We keep begging. We keep asking. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll ask again in the world. Which, maybe I'll send an email to Annie. Be like, you know, we'd really like. <laughs> all right. For my Bernina Serger owners, I have a sewing, a, not sewing machine cover, a Serger cover that has a pieced overlocker in it. So Amanda did these also for the 7 and 8 series machines. Uh, no, the 7 series machines and the domestic um, Q series machines that you could make a cover that has your... Um, picture of your machine on it um, but yes this is now available for my eight series owners my l8 series owners back in stock hoop keys so if you remember this is the key to help you tighten up those large medium and oval hoops screw key do's so for my seven an eight series owners, maybe if I don't destroy the bag trying to open it. My screw key do is here for my seven and eight my seven and eight series owners. So this screw is just like the screw that you use to um, 
change your needle with, but again, bigger handle to hold on to, okay? So that you, um, one, if you lose that little gray screw, and you can have a little bit of a bigger hand to hold on to. And for my five series, four series, and classic line machines, um, you have the original screw key do that uses the thumb screw. Um, so that's there. So Miss Dawn, I found another zipper bag for you. I don't know what I did with it, but I have some, it's somewhere. <laughs> yes, um, no, Miss Felice, it will, they will not work on the long arm. But if you take your one for the Q-Series long arm, if you take it to the hardware store, um, they should be able to um, get you a longer screwdriver for it or a better handle, I believe. We have a restock in our fill thread. We have a restock in the the precision angled tweezer because you gotta you, there ain't nothing better than this tweezer right here. Some squizzers, jumbo bobbin savers that are designed for the seven and eight series bobbins, and I believe Q series bobbins fits in these two. And hold on one second. Let me keep digging. Um, some new three one yard patterns. Um, this one is hopscotch. Uh, nine patch. Uh, look at that. It's a chain. I'm a sucker. Um, a mirror mirror pattern. This is new from, not new. This is an older pattern from Amanda Murphy, but it uses a um, layer cake as well. And then let me, let me dig out of the bottom here. So I don't know. Some of you have probably seen me use this guy okay this little point turner it's the easy point and turner let me see if i can find the other one yeah there it is okay there's actually two sizes to these okay so this is the large and this is the regular okay so depending on how long your tube is and i'm trying to see if she says um in terms of length. Um, if you've got a really, really long, like over two yard length uh, tube to turn, you're gonna want the large. And then the regular one is good for your smaller handles and things like that. We also have an embroidery design that just arrived that you can use to make a case for your point and turn that is all done in the embroidery hoop. So that's, that's always fun. All right, let me, let me see. I think that's mostly everything. We have a couple of things coming up that I wanna talk about. We launched the pre-order for the Two Scoops, pillow, uh, Two Scoops Bench Pillow. We also launched information earlier this week, kind of like a, are you interested, into the beautiful day quilt along that Corey Yoder is doing for her collection, Beautiful Day. So let me walk up front here. It is a six month mystery. I don't know what it looks like. I have no clue. You can't bribe it out of me because I don't know. Okay. I have not a clue, but I just know the fabric is beautiful. It will start in, we will start our lessons and education on it in March, I believe, is what we decided on. My right hand can tell me if I'm correct. But this is beautiful day, okay? Just so you can kind of have an idea here. We have put together the um, bundle that you will need to make the beautiful day block mystery block of the month it's a fat eighth bundle some yardage for background sashing cornerstone 
outer border, okay? And then of course the pattern all comes as part of that as well. We will be doing a Facebook group. Oh, and a panel. Yes, thank you. A pre-printed um, applique panel, but there's no applique involved. We will be doing a quilt along, sew alongs, that type of thing to help all of us stay motivated and together and keep working on our project. But the bundles are up online for this quilt along. So if you are interested, you can go ahead and reserve your bundle for this project, for this function or soiree as we should call it. The bundle includes one fat eighth bundle. If you are, you know, not a super scrappy person, you're okay with a little scrappy, you may want to purchase a second fat eighth bundle. Um, the pattern is designed, um, Corey originally had it for fat quarters. Uh, we can't get any more fat quarters. And so it's been modified to also work with fat eighth bundles. If you use one fat eighth bundle, which is what's in my quilt along bundle, it's the same quilt, just a little bit scrappier. If you're not into that scrappy look, but again, I know, I can't tell you what it looks like. I don't know, I don't even know. Um, you may want to purchase a second fat eighth bundle so that you can do it a little less scrappy and a little more identical to what Corey is doing in the program. Okay, so those are up. We have modified hours next week. Okay, we will be closing at 2 p.m. on Thursday. We will be closed Friday and Saturday next weekend. We will be open on Monday, the holiday, regular hours, but we are gonna be closed Thursday uh, closing early Thursday, Friday and Saturday, so that our staff can also join us at the Winter Chill event. Next Friday, we will be broadcasting Friday Night Live from on site, from the party that we will ha be having as everybody is settling in and steadily sewing along in their projects. All right. Do I have any questions? Did I forget something? Is there something you're just dying to know um, what's going on? We do have, I can tell you, I know what shipped today. We have a fabric collection coming all about hair. So it's been a long time since we've had fabric related to hairbrushes and hair dryers and things along that line. So when this line karam comes in next week, oh, thank you. Um, when this line comes in next week and you have a hairdresser that you do little things for or make things for the holidays, you will want to stock up. <laughs> Miss Dawn's going to broadcast live from Hamilton. <laughs> Just introduce everybody in the theater to Material Girls. Yes, if you are in the No Place Like Home event... I am hoping for those kits to be arriving at the beginning of the week. Um, I had hoped they would be here today. They are not, but I'm hoping they're here before we leave for retreat so that everyone will be able to um, get their kit um, over the holiday weekend or I'll be able to bring them to the retreat um, so that I can distribute them there to those that are retreating. We will begin this weekend posting things in that Facebook group in terms of thread and supplies that you will need. We do have a few spaces remaining in our virtual No Place Like Home event. We were able to get some more kits for that event. So if you had um, wanted to register earlier and it was full, you can um, register now. There are more spots available. Okay, well, that's what I have for you for today, for Friday, February 11th. Um, Miss Dawn, I will check and let you know. Mom, yes. can you tell me if Dawn's registered for No Place Like Home? No. I'll ask. <laughs> Dr. Mike says register again. No. <laughs> I don't know. But... Yes, so we're gonna have fun. 
Thank you. Oh, thank you, Miss Susie. I didn't say hi. Why do I always forget that? I love my little people. So while we're waiting, let me say hello. Let's see if I can do it. Hi, Grady and Layton. Mimi loves you. Yeah, we are very off today. Mimi loves you. Mr. Austin, Samuel, Alexander, Mary Catherine, Sage, Ryder, Cecilia, Mackenzie, Aubrey and Camden, I hope you're having fun with Mickey Mouse. And I think I did it. I think I You are registered. Virtual. For the virtual event. You are registered, Miss Dawn. All right. Yes. All right, everybody. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you're doing something either fun for the Super Bowl, I think is this weekend, or you're doing something fun for Valentine's. We will be here tomorrow, 9.30 to 3, if you should need anything. Otherwise, you can always shop online 24-7. You can also check out our YouTube channel. Make sure that you subscribe to both the YouTube channel, to Facebook, and to our newsletter on our website so that you can be reminded um, for um, uh, updates, upcoming events, functions. We will be releasing a new gazette shortly for the month of March and don't want you to miss out on any of the fun that we could possibly be having. Thank you, everybody. Have a great weekend, and we will see you all soon. Bye.